All right. Some of my members at cupoflinux.com said, Hey, Spat, we would like to know your impression of Robo Linux. So we're going to have a quick look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. What makes Robo Linux unique is that it is based on Debian Stable. So for those of you who are concerned about having a good stable operating environment to work on, this is a good option for you. Because I've never known of any distribution that has been based on Debian Stable to be problematic or even crash. The only downside is that running a stable system, you are not getting cutting edge, bleeding edge software. But you have software that has been very well tested and known for its stability. Another thing that makes Robo Linux unique is its Stealth VM software. Okay, and you'll see here on the desktop, this is using GNOME Shell in fallback mode, uh, and it has Compiz. However, I have disabled it for today's demonstration. You've seen tons of Compiz videos that I've done on my channel, and there's really no need for all the glitzy special effects and that sort of thing. You'll see that you have uh, a Stealth VM activation and deactivation module. Now, when you go to click these, what's going to happen is a pop-up window is going to appear over here stating you're going to need to make a donation to download and install this. Unfortunately, I did not decide to make a donation just to be able to demonstrate a piece of software. But let me give you a basic idea of what it does. And you can even do a search on YouTube for Stealth VM and the Robo Linux channel will come up where the developer himself will take you on a walkthrough of what it is that you can do. And for those of you who don't want to donate, I have a little surprise coming up for you in an upcoming episode where I'm going to show you my way to protect your virtual machines for free. And if you find that information don't <laughs> useful, then you can make a donation if you want. <laughs> right, let's continue. So at any rate, Basically, the Stealth VM modules that this operating system uses works with the open-sourced VirtualBox software. Okay, and this will allow you to easily install Windows XP or Windows 7. Now, something I'd like to point out, though, is because this is using GNOME Shell in a fallback mode, you could probably use this just fine on a machine that's five years old um, without the Compiz and effects running. If you have the Compiz and all the fancy schmancy effects going on at the same time, you're probably going to want to use a newer computer. All right, let's uh, give you a quick overview of everything that you're seeing on the screen here. Uh, on the bottom, you'll see there is a launcher panel with some little arrows on the left and the right, which will allow you to collapse and uh, bring back uh, uh, your quick launches to the software. I'm just going to leave it collapsed for right now because I'm going to go through the menus uh, already. A few little icons on the desktop to get you started here. Let's click on the Robo Linux logo, logo, and you're going to see that you have a number of accessories. This is a complete operating system, so pretty much everything you need is here to get you up and running. Okay, you get uh, the application dock that I just mentioned. You get an archive manager and a bunch of other cool little tools. Uh, a handful of games are also thrown in uh, to distract you while you are waiting for something to render or... You know, you got some other processes running in the background that you're waiting on. Why not play a simple little game to take your mind off the waiting period? Okay, you get a few little graphics tools with this. Notably, uh, you get a very nice document viewer. You get uh, the GIMP, an image viewer. And you also get Shotwell for managing your photos. Pretty nice piece of software indeed. In the internet, you get your choice of Firefox or Google Chrome web browser. My personal choice, I'll go with the Firefox. You also get Skype, 
uh, for keeping in touch with family and friends, transmission for your BitTorrent needs, and empathy for all of your other instant messaging needs if you do instant messaging. In Office, you get a dictionary, you get the full LibreOffice suite with the inclusion of uh, evolution for managing your email. In Sound and Video, you get Brazero, you get the Cheese webcam booth, and a number of other utilities. Great for uh, making your ISOs, uh, playing all your multimedia files, it's all here, ready for you to go. System tools, number of applications to get the most out of the system with the inclusion of some proprietary software drivers come preloaded with this. Uh, so if you need to get your AMD drivers or your NVIDIA drivers, they're here. Cool stuff indeed. You also get Wi-Fi drivers preloaded with this. So now um, you don't have to, you know, fiddle with, you know, adding a PPA and all this other stuff to get your Wi-Fi working. They have them included in here. I think this is pretty nice. And they also have a number of printer drivers included with this. And I don't think I've seen a distribution recently that includes this. So kudos to the Rubble Linux team for uh, including these because these are going to be very useful especially for the newbie who um, doesn't know about much about setting up these things at least these drivers and everything are already available for you some administration tools come preloaded with this you can manage all of your preferences here and a bunch of other nice little utilities for getting the most out of the system you also get universal in universal access the orca screen reader which will pretty much read everything off the screen to you great for those of you with vision defects and then of course the robo linux uh, tips and upgrade uh, the uh, VM systems installer and the uh, stealth systems installer. I also mentioned the icons up here. Unfortunately, though, I can't see an easy way to remove these because what if you decide to use Robo Linux and you don't know how to get rid of these icons? And that pretty much is a flaw with GNOME Shell. They don't really make it very easy to customize these panels and while we're on the panel of course uh, the icon for uh, your network connectivity is here you also have your battery status indicator if you're on a laptop uh, a volume control there are five desktops to switch from probably a little too much for me uh, I use three when running comp is and only one uh, in uh, XFCE um, but you can change that if you want to uh, you can search your system with this icon here. You also have uh, a calendar. And, of course, you have uh, your logout options available right here. All in all, this looks pretty nice. Uh, I wish that they had the option to at least try out the uh, Stealth VM modules before making a donation. I'm sure they have their reasoning for it. Um, I watched uh, the Robo Linux videos on YouTube at one time. Uh, they probably were offered uh, for free and they found they weren't getting any donations and that sort of thing. And of course, I can't knock a software developer for uh, wanting to get a re return for their investment and time that they put into making these programs available. So if you feel this is something that you would want to use, this would be well worth your time. And also something else I'd like to point out, you don't have to use uh, Robo Linux to get uh, the Stealth VM technology. So if you want to make a donation, you want to run this on another Linux distribution, such as Makulu, which is also a nice Debian-based distribution. You have SolidX, another great choice. You could run it on those distributions or on Debian itself. Additionally, they have uh, modules available for installation on an Ubuntu-based distribution. So you would be able to get the same technology running on uh, Zorin, Mint, uh, and all the other Ubuntu spins that are out there. And there are so many of them, uh, I think my brain would explode if I tried to say all of them, that sort of thing. So uh, if you think it's something you might be interested in, I wish I could make a demonstration. Just visit the Robo Linux on YouTube. He'll explain everything uh, about them. Uh, it seems very interesting. Um, Personally, not something I would use because I have my own methods for protecting my virtual machines. 
So be sure to check it out. It may be worth your time. And as a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who are bringing you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coins. Peace out. Mm -hmm.